Brenda, we've heard a lot about how it was a really big off season for you. Uh, what was important for you this off season? Um, I think just making the most of it. It's my last year. I just wanted to go all out. So just enjoying every moment was what I was really focusing on. What do you feel like you grew or got better throughout the off season or healthier? Uh, yeah, definitely healthier. And I think just learning to have fun while I'm playing again and just um, not focusing too much on like the mistakes I'm making or like little things, but just really trying to help my team the best way that I can. I really focus on that this off season. From a mental and emotional standpoint, is there a correlation between Brennan's healthy and Brennan's happy? <laughs> um, definitely. I think that when I'm healthy, I'm just happier. I just, I mean, I'm not in pain. <laughs> Everyone's happier, but I think that <clears throat> when I'm healthy, I do good on the floor as well, and so that makes me happy. Not to belabor the point, but last year, how much was that, was that going on where you were looking down to your wrist and you were in pain and it wasn't, it wasn't going well for you? Yeah, I think it was just a lot of frustration as well. I wasn't playing as... Um, well as I really wanted to, and I think that my wrist really contributed that a lot, so I was really unhappy for most of the season, but um, yeah, I think it definitely played into a lot. I think it's allowed this senior group to kind of mesh together. You have some transfers, you have some holdovers from mm -hmm. the previous staff. What's kind of allowed that to kind of come together like it has over the last three years? Um, I think that we all just really have bought into the culture that Coach Green has like um, tried to instill in us, and I think we've done a better job in just passing that down to the new people and that they have really bought them as well. So it's really just a two-way street between the seniors and the new people as well. How did you navigate last year when it was frustrating and, mm -hmm. and unhappy at times? Um, I think I tried to step out myself a little bit and tried to just contribute in any way I could, whether it just be like talking on the bench. Like if that was my job for the game, then I guess that would just be my job. So I think that I really just bought into the process and try not to dwell too much on what I couldn't control and what I, I try to focus on what I could. Coach Green had talked about like for you being able to get reps again in the gym mm -hmm. like really helps you confidence wise. Like yeah. what's the correlation for that for you to have to be out there again? Um, I think I've always been someone that's just like shot a lot of reps in the off season and even during the season as well just like keep my shot just like sharp and feel confident and since I couldn't do it last year I wasn't as happy with my shot and like the results I had so I think that definitely showed but this off season I was recovering but mostly healthy and I feel like that has played a lot into like my confidence myself. Yeah, obviously, yeah, obviously this, this core this is your last time together. Mm -hmm. I'm curious how much you talk about it, speak about it, say what you want out of it or is it just kind of a known thing? Mm -hmm. Um I think we talk about it a lot, especially during practice. If there's a drill that we're doing and we're not happy with how it's going, we're like, okay guys pick it up like especially the core group that we have that are graduating this year we're like Okay, this is our last year. We need to make the most out of it, and we're not gonna have anyone, or including ourselves, take anything for granted. And that's definitely something we focus on every practice. And with a, an open game against a program like Florida State, mm -hmm. how much do you like that compared to, for lack of a better word, a lesser competitive mm -hmm. team that would be your opening? I mean, I think it's a great test for us, and they're obviously a great team, and it's really gonna show where we're at and how. We have been progressing, and I feel like we're in a good spot. And so having a competition like that so early is definitely going to help us in going forward. Now, Letty, Coach Green said you could play more of the five at times. Like, what's been the process of getting comfortable with that position? Um, I think it's definitely been over the course of my four years. I've played four and five, and at day and I was five a lot of the time. So it's kind of like going back to that. And I feel like I just if I'm confident in what I'm doing in every spot, I think I. We'll be okay, so that's really just more of a with that. You and Kendall both have the ability to shoot it. Like, what, what do you like about the idea of maybe like a five-out looking lineup? Um, I think we have offense that really stretches people out. It's like really hard to guard, and I think guarding it, I know it's really hard to guard. So it's really nice that we have that the ability to do that this year. With the three seniors coming back for their fifth year, was that sort of anticipated all season that they would come back? And were there conversations among the team? What was that kind of like going into? that decision that they all made? Um, I guess I was thought they were going to come back, but there weren't a ton of conversations until the last couple games, but um, that was definitely something I was hoping that they would come back uh, throughout the whole entire season, so I was happy when they announced it officially. Um, and just, you know, back-to-back -back seasons with sort of heightened expectations around the program, do you feel like maybe after last year you guys are better equipped to handle that this season, and what does that sort of involve and entail? Yeah, I think um, we're definitely better equipped to handle that and just, we kind of, I feel like last season really prepared us in a lot of ways. We faced a lot of things that we weren't really used to, um, and so going forward, I think we know how to better handle those situations.
like Makaira at Media Day described you as like scary now, just the way you practice? <laughs> What's that look like, do you think? Um, I think I'm just really competitive. I kind of try to rub up on my teammates as well, so maybe that's scary. I don't know. Yeah. But. <laughs> how, how big for you were those overseas games just to get basketball, like back in the flow mm -hmm. of basketball again? Um, that was amazing. Just the whole trip experience was amazing, but um, those games were really nice. I finally felt like I played a basketball game again, and um, yeah, and like play overseas something I want to do. So that was definitely a good experience to have. Yeah, I think uh, Makaira, when she's at her best, is very competitive and she kind of rubs off on all of us with her like positive energy and I feel like I've seen that very consistently almost every single day since the summer, so that's definitely a good thing to see this year.